Hey there, I'm meteorologist Eric Fisher. Happy Monday to you. Here we're going to be talking about most of the weather action this week in the first couple of days. A couple of storms trying to fire up out there this afternoon. They'll be very isolated. A quick heavy downpour is possible, but most of the activity is going to be on this front. They'll be arriving during the day on Tuesday. Bring with it some very heavy rainfall and some strong thunderstorms as well. Warm tonight. Some areas of fog near the coast. A very humid. We'll stay in the 70s. Have an uncomfortable sleeping night out there. Tomorrow morning, fog along the south coast and near the immediate shoreline. Line, a chance for some early day sunshine inland. And then we'll watch that line of downpours and storms move in by 1 o'clock. Should be into southwest New Hampshire and approaching northern Worcester County, moving its way east as we head into mid afternoon. One thing we will see as we head toward the evening a lot of heavy rainfall out there for the commute, but also a weakening trend as this line heads down toward the south coast and the Cape. You'll get some rainfall out of it. Wouldn't expect the really strong storms to make their way that far south. And we're clearing out as we head toward Wednesday morning. High temps tomorrow, 85 to about 90. A couple spots may get over 90 degrees with enough sunshine in the morning, but very humid outdoors. Again, the widespread storms from Boston westward. And then we'll see a little bit of decreasing activity heading towards southeastern Massachusetts. Some street flooding going to be the main issue out there, especially as we head toward the evening commute. Could see some hail as well. And a non-zero chance of a tornado. There's just enough wind shear tomorrow. An isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Something we'll be keeping an eye on. Dew points way up in the 70s tomorrow. Humid tomorrow night. As we head toward Wednesday morning, the drier air will be moving in from west to east and feeling much more comfortable as we head into Wednesday afternoon. And this is just a computer model, but a general idea of the rainfall breakdown. We could see a couple inches of rain west of Boston in those downpours. I don't think we'll see zero, but there will be less rainfall toward the Cape and the islands. Dew points the rest of the week fall back in the 50s for the most part that'll take us right on into Saturday. So a great stretch. Again, pretty much all the action this week is Tuesday. Wednesday in the mid 80s with bright skies and drying air. 80s on Thursday, full sun, dry air. Friday in the upper 80s. Some temps in the 70s to low 80s on the south coast. Saturday looks great. Sunday a chance of some late day rain. Best chance for rain after tomorrow looks to be Monday.